Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Samsung Galaxy Grand 2 with me, uh, which is an updated version to the Grand. And in this video, uh, I'll be showing you some benchmarks and general performance and overview of this uh, Grand 2. And before uh, I proceed with the benchmark scores, etc., uh, let me talk about the configuration. And for that, we'll use the CPU Z app. And uh, it comes with a quad core processor. It's a Qualcomm based uh, quad core processor. And as you can see, it's based on the ARM Cortex A7 architecture. And it's a four core processor. And it's clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, the GPU on this is a Adreno 305. And as you can see, it's a four core processor. And uh, it's a, what do you say, a Snapdragon based chipset. It's actually the same uh, chipset uh, that was used on this uh, Motorola Moto G. And uh, one good thing about this phone is that it has 1.5 GB of RAM. Regarding the screen, it's, it sports a 5.25 inch screen with a 720p HD display. And uh, internal storage is 8 gigs and out of that, I think so you just get about 4.7 GB or so. And regarding the battery, the battery life was actually pretty good. It hoses a 2600 milliampere battery. And I've been testing this uh, Grand 2 now for almost about four days or so and uh, as my primary phone and i would say the battery life is pretty good you can easily get about one and a half days of uh, usage with medium usage so that's excellent and regarding the sensors again yes the, it does not have the most sensors but samsung has provided most of the important sensors that are needed so let's get out of this configuration and before i show you the benchmark scores regarding the ram though this samsung galaxy grand has 1.5 gb of ram let me show you how much is actually available to you. Let's kill all the apps that are running. Let's go to this task manager also. Let's clear the memory. Now nothing is running on this phone. And uh, oops, again, we have to do it. We have to go here and clear the memory. And as you can see, it's everything is cleared. I just have this basic one widget running. I've disabled everything else. So let's uh, uh, fire up this Android system info app. And let's look at the free memory that's available. And as you can see, out of that 1.5 GB, uh, we have 578 MB of uh, free memory that is available to you. It could have been a lot higher, but again, it's a Samsung phone and it hoses this touch with UI. And you also get these additional things. For example, you have this My Magazine view. And again, you can't disable this. So things like this do take up a little bit of RAM. Now moving to the benchmarks, let's start with the Quadrant. And before I show you the Quadrant scores, let me show you the system information again. As you can see, again, it hoses a quad-core processor and uh, regarding the GPU is Adreno 305. And these are the sensors that are provided. Now let me show you the Quadrant scores. And these are the Quadrant scores and as you can see, we got a score of 8,294, which is actually a pretty decent score. Yes, it's not the chart-topping scores, but again, it's a pretty decent score considering the price point of this phone and the total is 8294 out of that the cpu got a score of 31065 memory is 3458 uh, ios 4495 2d is 2 uh, 350 and 3d is 2103 i also ran the antutu benchmark and uh, let me show you the scores for that also Again, these scores are just synthetic scores. I do not stress a lot on that. Uh, quite a few of you have asked me, that's why I'm showing this. But again, I just believe in the real performance of the device. I'll talk about it a bit later. And as you can see, we got a score of 16,924. Again, which is a pretty decent score. And you can just pause the screen to get the details regarding the score. And uh, I also ran this, let me show you. And this is the Antutu benchmarks chart. And if you look at it, according to it, it is better than Nexus 4, but I simply do not agree again, as I told you, these benchmarks are just synthetic results. Uh, the Nexus 4 is definitely a slightly more powerful uh, device, but according to this benchmarks, it is over the Nexus 4 and slightly below the Galaxy S3. Uh, I also ran this uh, benchmark, that's Nina Mark. Again, I know it's not very uh, scientific these days because it's old benchmark. But we got a respectable score of 55 to 56 FPS on the Nino Mark II. I actually also ran this Epic Citadel, which is again a, a graphic benchmark. So let me show you the scores for that also. And I ran the Epic Citadel in two modes. The first is the high performance default mode. In that, as you can see, it's maxed out and we got a score of 59 FPS. But I also bumped up the graphic settings and then moved to the ultra high quality. And here we got a score of 32.2. This is not the be uh, highest scores that we have seen, but I would say considering the price point, it's a very respectable score. So these were the benchmarks. But again, as I told you, I believe in the real world performance. And in that, 
I would say the phone is performs decently, but again, I would say it's not completely lag free here and there. I did notice minor lags, but overall the performance was very good. I also played a lot of games with this casual games. I'll soon be also producing an in-depth review regarding the gaming performance. I'll test it with a lot of high-end games also. So again, I'll be posting that video very soon. So stay tuned to my channel. I've also made some other videos on the Grand 2. Links for all those videos will be in the show notes. That's it for now for this uh, quick video. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.